Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, enlargement, uh, sometimes referred to as dilation. And uh, this time we're looking at scale factors of lesson one. Now, this is uh, a GCSE, a GCSE higher tier question, uh, therefore suitable for 11th grade geometry there. Now, this is the object here, the this L-shaped diagram there. That's the object. This one. Uh, this is a question here. It says uh, enlarge the shaded um, shape by scale factors of a half and minus a half, with the center of enlargement at the point minus one zero. Now, this three here is the number of marks allocated to this question here. Okay. Now. Uh, center of alignment is at uh, there at minus one zero there now to make life easy for myself uh, I've, I've labeled the points on the object as a b c d and e there okay now starting from a now with reference to the uh, center of enlargement to go from the center of alignment to A, I move 2 to the right and then 5 up. And because I got a scale factor of a half, I'm going to move 1 to the right and 2 and a half up there. So that's point A prime. So A prime is now there. Similarly for B, Starting from the center of enlargement, I'm going to move three to the right and five up. Now, because this is a, this is a, a scale factor of a half, I'm going to move just one and a half to the right and two and a half up. So I'm going to move one and a half to the right and then two and a half up. So B is there. So B prime is there. Now, similarly for C, starting from the center of enlargement again, I'm going to move uh, one, two, three, four to the right and two up. So because my scale factor is a half, I'm going to move uh, two to the right and one up. So my C prime is going to be there. And that's what it got there. That's C prime. Now, similarly for D, again, from the center of enlargement, I'm going to move four, one, two, three, four to the right, and one up. So now I'm going to move two to the right and a half up. So that's going to be one, two to the right, and half up. So my D prime is there. So that's D prime there. Okay, now for E, again, starting from the center of enlargement, I'm going to move only two to the right. Two to the right, and one up. So for, enlargement, from, for my enlargement, I'm going to move just one to the right, and a half up. There. So that's my E prime there. Now if I join all the points now, now I'm going to have my... Uh, my my image after the alignment of the object by a scale factor of a half. So that now is my image after enlargement of this big L-shaped diagram by a scale factor of one half there. And that's what we got there. Now for a scale factor of minus a half, similar thing again, except we're going to go backwards and down. Okay, so starting from uh, the center of enlargement for a a is two five move two to the right and five up so for with a scale factor of minus a half i'm going to move uh, one to the one to the left and two and a half down so one to the left there and then two and a half down so that's my a prime there Okay, now 
for b prime to get b i'm going to move starting from the center of enlargement that will give me uh three to the right and five up so i'm going to move one and a half to the left and two and a half down so my b prime prime is there okay that's b prime prime there now similarly for to get c prime prime i'm going to move uh, one, two, three, four to the right and two up. So I'm going to now move two to the left and one down. So I'm going to move two to the left and one down. And that's going to give my C position there or C prime prime. So that's C prime prime there. Okay. Now for D prime prime, this is trying to uh, enlarge the object by a scale factor of minus a half. Now to move from the from the center of alignment to D is going to be four to the right and one up. So my for the enlargement scale factor of minus a half, I'm going to move two to the right and a half down. So two to the right will be there and a half down will be there. So that point will be my D prime prime and that's what we got there. So that's D prime prime. Okay now for E Right, to get E from, uh, from the center of enlargement, I have to be 2 to the right and 1 up. So, enlargement scale factor of a half will be 1 to the left and a half down. So, that's going to be my E now, or E prime prime. So, E prime prime is there now. Now, if we join up all the points, we then have this here. So the drawing in green is the enlargement of the object with center of enlargement at minus one zero and scale factor of minus a half. That's what you got there. Okay. Now, let's have a look now. Now, the area of the image divided by the area of the object is equal to the linear scale factor squared. Okay. Now, it doesn't matter which you choose, either this one or this one here. Now, the area will be five quarters. Okay. That's the area of the image, five quarters. Now, if we divide that by the area of the object, which is five over one. Okay. Now, that's the same as saying five quarters times one over five the fives cancel out we have one quarter and of course if you square the scale factor which is a half if you square a half you get a quarter so in effect this left hand side agrees with right hand side so that's okay now i hope all that made some sense uh, please please subscribe and thank you for watching bye bye now